Hi guys, Steph here. Now, what we've got for you today is a lovely Waterman fountain pen. Now, what we have here, as we'll show in a moment, this is actually a Waterman Ideal Junior fountain pen. It's made in Canada, and this particular sample, as you can see, is a lever fill. Um, it comes in this black, black colour. And it's got this sort of chromium plated clip along with this sort of chromium plated lever and the cap ring to the bottom of the cap there. The, the size of this particular pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, it's around about a one, well, 121 millimeters capped. Around the diameter of the barrel here, around about 11 millimeters in diameter so it's quite a short pen although saying that it's quite quite a thickish pen as well all in all in absolutely lovely condition um, it came in a recent a recent haul that I got I've actually restored it I've serviced it cleaned it etc so it's in lovely condition let's show you the the clip to the top there you can see it's got this um, this ball clip to the top there with the word Waterman um, to the clip and then if we show you the cap and just simply turn it round I'm looking over the camera so I can see it you'll see there it's got the Waterman uh, made in Canada to the cap and then if we show you the the imprint on the pen itself you can see it's got Waterman um, it's got the ideal symbol in the middle there Again, made in Canada, and just underneath there, nice and clear, you can see it's got the word Junior. So, a lovely clear imprint. While we're here, let's just show you a close up of this, uh, this lever. It's what we term as a box lever. Okay, now the cap on this particular one unscrews. So, let's show you the, the pen in sort of different different angles, different views, in absolutely lovely condition. Now, you can see the section to the top of the cap, uh, sorry, the top of the barrel there is slightly concave. And one thing I'm not sure if you can actually, if it'll pick up on this particular video, um, the, a nice interesting touch on this pen, it's got a slight ink view on the section there. Now, unfortunately, I don't think it's actually picking it up on the video. Maybe, maybe it is so, but just to the bottom of this section, we've got a small ink view, um, ink view window, if you like, on this particular pen. Let's show you the nib, which is a lovely nib on this one. Let's keep it nice and still. And what we've got here is a Waterman Ideal Junior, and then at the bottom it says Canada. Let's give you a different angle. There we go. Hopefully you can actually see that. In absolute, it's actually a lovely, lovely nib. Now the interesting th thing about this particular pen, um, if we turn it over, look at that. It's got a very interesting feed to the back of the to the back of the nib. There, you can see it's got this red colour running through the, the feed. Now, when I actually serviced it, when I actually had this feed out, um, it's actually, I assume that the feed is made of um, sort of ebonite, and then when I took it out, there's actually a round piece of ebonite running through the feed itself. So when they actually cut cut this particular shape here, it gave it this lovely, this lovely red red line to the middle of the feed there. So, quite an interesting feed there. Okay, as I say, we've actually fully restored it, fully serviced it. So, it's in, well, it should be in full working order. Incidentally, one thing I've not mentioned, um, I date the pen, well, I'm not too particularly sure on this one, maybe 1930s, 1940s, in that particular era. So, let's bring on some ink. It's a lever fill pen, so what it simply means is that we get our nail and we pull the lever out like so. Okay, dip the, dip the nib into the ink, 
pull the lever back, give it a few seconds, a little tap on the side there, and let's just bring on a tissue just to give it a little bit of a wipe. Now, I've actually already had a play about with this particular pen, and it's got a lovely, lovely nib on it. It writes absolutely gorgeous. So, let's have a look then. So, what we've got is a a Waterman's as we said this is a an ideal and again it's a junior model we're dating it as we said I don't know maybe 1930s maybe 1940s around about that particular era an absolutely lovely writer Okay, as you can see, at this particular point, it's writing, I would say, in a fine line. But, if we apply a bit of pressure, look at that. On the downward stroke, we're getting quite a broad, a broad line. On the cross stroke there, you can see we're getting a fine line. So if I do the figure of eights and apply pressure on the downward stroke like so, there you have it. Look at the variation in that. An absolutely gorgeous nib. So it's writing with a fine line and then when we apply a little bit of pressure, as you can see there, we're getting absolutely, well, a nice variation. So what we've got here is a lovely flexy nib on this particular pen. So, let's pop the cap back. And there we have it. We've got a, pa well, I was going to say a Parker then. We've got a Waterman Ideal Junior Fountain Pen around about 1930s, 1940s. Um with sort of nickel plated trim or chrome plated trim in absolutely gorgeous condition with a lovely flexy nib. So, I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as always, as much as I enjoy showing them to you. Don't forget, loads more videos. Go and have a look, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye now.